Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Nightmares of Nature. I'm your host, Catherine Shipier, and today we're talking about the world's most famous nocturnal birds. That's right, the owl. Owls are birds in the strigoform family, recognizable thanks to their rounded appearance with big eyes, and a lot of them often have a weird heart-shaped mark on their face. Owls are a global species, except Antarctica, of course. They're also a very diverse group, and because of that, this will be one of those highlight videos. But for some base facts, most owls tend to be nocturnal. So as such, they've developed ways to hunt in total darkness. For one, they obviously have good night vision, which is why their eyes are so big. Secondly, they have very good hearing. And finally, thanks to specialized wing feathers, owls make no noise when they fly, allowing them to sneak up on nighttime animals that have also adapted good hearing. And while contrary to popular belief they can't turn their head 360, they can still turn their head all the way to their backs. So there's still that. Also, unlike other birds of prey, which only tend to eat the meat of their prey, owls usually eat everything, regardless of if they can ingest it or not. So as such, after eating, owls will often vomit up a pellet full of bones, fur, claws, and other undigestibles. So yeah, that's a thing. Well, now that we got basic owl stuff out of the way, let's look at some specific owls. First, let's start with probably the most famous owl, the Great Horned Owl, Bubo virginianus. Native to the Americas, the Great Horned Owl isn't the largest or even the weirdest owl, but since it perfectly embodies nearly everything people know about owls, I presume that's why it became the most famous. Anyway, Great Horns are well recognizable thanks to their ear tufts, which is thought to have some sort of camouflaging capabilities. So, yeah. In addition to the usual bird of prey diet like mice, rabbits, and frogs, the Great Horned Owl also eats bats, and thanks to their poor sense of smell, they are the only animal who consistently eats skunks. So yeah, good job, Boobo. You gained fame because you're cool. Probably. Next, we have barn owls, the most widespread species of owl. These guys are quite recognizable thanks to their pure white faces and black beady eyes. Oh yeah, they also make a very loud screech that at night can sound like a banshee. In fact, it's actually thought... Actually, I'll be saving that for an upcoming video. So yeah, barn owls. Taito Alba. Then we got the chilly snowy owl, Bubo scandiacus. Native to the Arctic Circle, the snowy owl is famous for its pure white feathers covered in black speck. Unusually for owls, these birds are diurnal, meaning they're awake at day, and their main prey is the lemming. So yeah, snowy owls. That's about it. Finally, we got the burrowing owl, Athene cunicaliria, which lives in burrows. And they have long legs that are good at running. So, yeah, not much else to say there other than the fact that they usually live in deserts. Alright, let's look at some cards. Alright, no mistakes in the Great Horned card. But the Eagle Owl card calls it the largest owl when it's not. That honor goes to the Blackstons Fish Owl. So, yeah, 9 out of 10. And I can't find anything wrong with the Screech Owl card. Owls and humans have a pretty mixed relationship, since owls are simultaneously respected, but also scary animals at the same time. So let's look into both aspects. First off, respect. In most European and Asian cultures, owls are highly respected, being seen as symbols of luck, and more famously, symbols of wisdom, with most stories portraying owls as the smartest creatures in the forest. This association with intelligence likely stemmed from the fact that if you look at an owl perching on a branch, it does look like it's pondering about things. But in reality, owl intelligence is nothing really special. They're not really smarter than any other bird of prey, and if you want a bird with noteworthy intelligence, then you gotta look at corvids. As for the feared part, in a lot of Native American cultures, owls were seen as harbingers of death, with the Aztecs believing that owls lived in the underworld during the day. Nowadays, modern media has kind of split the difference, of owls sometimes showing up in order to create a spooky atmosphere, but more often than not, owls and creatures based on them are portrayed as very intelligent and wise. One notable exception to this, however, is the owl from Winnie the Pooh, who is kind of a parody of this trope, as he likes to claim himself as being very intelligent when it's pretty clear that most of the time he has no idea what he's talking about. So yeah, owls. That's about it. So... Yeah, next time we'll be doing something that's not Nightmares of Nature. I think the cycle resets next time, come to think of it, so, um, goodbye.